Hi, and welcome to this short video. My name is Joshua, and today we're going to talk about how to create toasts in Payload, because Payload under the hood uses React Toastify, and we can easily tap into that and create toasts according to our own uh, needs. So as you can see, I prepared something. We have this button, and if I click on this button, we are creating toasts. So let's jump right in. So what we have now is this empty template where we left off a few videos ago when we created the dashboard. And the first thing we want to do is to show a button on there. So we need to add uh, importing the button and simply do this here and import the button from payload component slash elements. And so we go here and type button toast defy give it an on click listener on on click so we're ready to show the toast now and for that we need to import toasty uh, react, react toastify so we need to import toast from react toastify and here we can simply say uh, toast dot success success this is the message this is the type of toast and this is the message message the toast is going to show so if we load this page again we have to wait a second it shows a toast with our message so as you see we simply have to call this api and it's already embedded into payload um, because we're calling the same thing as the rest of the payload application does and we have several options now. So we have the success toast, success, success, but we also have um, error, 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 warning, and info. So these are the four base styles that payload supports and that are defined. So let's just say um error on the button and in the toast success uh, warning oops warning and info so let's load again the page okay then we have the success toast we have the error toast we have uh, the info toast, oh yes, that's correct, the, the warning toast does not. Oh, war, warning, ah, I spelled it wrong. So let's try that again. Yes, and we have the warning toast. You see, they, they it literally looks the same as the info toast, but it has the uh, yellow line going on below and the info has the blue line. So there are actually more configuration stuff we can do with the tasks. So let's, uh, if we want, we can define um, a configuration object and we can say um, to this uh, position, for example, position, for example, we can put in top center, center, and we can auto close this after one second in milliseconds. And we can hide the progress drop bar and we can close on click is true and pause on hover is uh, false in this case. So you can really configure all of these um, things as you need them and draggable is true in this case. So if we load this page again, then we click on this and we have it loaded in from the top and it already disappeared. And we can do top left, and we want it to be a warning, and then it's a or error, error, this really went wrong. Let's save it and load the page again. So now it came from the left. And as you see, we're really free to do with these toasts whatever we want. And they are already basically set up because they're part of the payload project. Okay, so that's it for today. See you the next time.